Hey y'all, it's Lex. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my patio, or as it used to look, my beautiful patio oasis. Jump scare. This is it now. It needs a lot of work and we are going to turn it around today. So let's clean this patio off and then we'll get started. So my goals with this patio makeover are to restore it to its former glory by tidying up, switching out for some friendlier outdoor decor, and giving it a new zhuzh by restaining the furniture. For that new patio decor, we're going with a new rug, outdoor lights, and some outdoor specific faux plants. For that conversation pit area. Once this place is all cleaned up, I am going to start the process of restaining our furniture. It's well overdue for that. I did not do the best job of protecting this furniture from the weather, so a good restain should help brighten it up. IKEA no longer makes this particular patio set. This was the Apollaro. So I am using the dedicated stain for it, but you cannot get this stain at Ikea any longer. bench did not survive the Georgia weather so I picked up this new bench from Ikea as you can see it is not the same color as our current patio furniture so I'm using that Apollaro furniture stain as like a gel stain to try to make the colors similar if possible <music> picked up this box to hold our patio cushions. It is waterproof. I'm going to be spray painting it black to match our aesthetic a bit more and hopefully this will make it seem like it was meant to go with the patio furniture I already have. While those things dry, I am going to put everything back in its place on the patio, restoring it to its original location because I still love the layout. Let's put this back together. Now it's time to get those plants ready for a conversation pit. These plants are from Amazon. I will link them down below. They are intended to be used outside and they are resistant to fading. I secured these in a little bit of concrete. Over that I poured some kitty litter and over the top of that I will be pouring a little bit of topsoil just to give it that realistic look. Now I'm going to add back our storage box and install our new patio lights. This was my beautiful patio before the weather and I destroyed it. This was it after its neglect and this is it now. I'm so glad to have my little outdoor oasis back. I will admit it doesn't give what it gave before and I think it's because I don't have the plants. So I'll be revisiting those plants this summer. If you guys have any tips for outdoor plants in the Southern region, please leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.